Hello Kiran sir I approached uh, to you for this book reading series I appreciate your initiative because nowadays people are uh, you know losing connection with books if I talk about myself I have read a lot of books even your book also book written by you so I believe that self help books they motivate us they motivate us to fight with the odds of life they also let us know how to overcome the you know unwanted part, part of our life if something is not happening according to us or how to accord ourselves uh, to the things which are uh, somewhere we think are uh, not going to add any productivity to our life but they gave us lesson thank you so much for giving this opportunity thank you very much baljeet you made my day ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that's very interesting inspiring and insightful teacher baljeet kaur i had a privilege to meet baljeet kaur in one of the biggest universities why baljeet is a so uh, insightful and inspiring teacher because she has very higher quest she is uh, into spirituality now spirituality is very very personal because many individuals many paths many practices but the common denominator for all the spiritual travelers is that love and peace that love and light isn't it baljeet often interacts with me and uh, more than me she interacts with my wife my better half and these two they have very good synchronicity and they could uh, understand each other very well So thank you very much Baljeet uh keeping in mind this spiritual journey ladies and gentlemen boys and girls if i may uh, pick today in our book reading series very interesting book that uh, lives life that's life's amazing secrets by one of my very favorite monks gor gopal das ji i had a privilege to meet personally uh, and attend to his great session on life's amazing secrets and then this copy ladies and gentlemen this copy of the book it it is uh it is gifted by him it's dear kiran regards gor gopal das that's his humility and and out of so many things about gor gopal das one thing which really fascinates me a lot is his amazing amazing sense of humor when he was delivering and uh, i had a privilege to sit in the very front row and uh, i could not control my laughter <laughs> you know a couple of times he looked at me i looked at him you know and the way he carries himself he's loaded with with abundance of energy connects with people the kind of variation he brings in let me tell you he's an amazing orator he's world class orator he's world class trainer facilitator aside being a great monk and a great writer and a great storyteller he is just fabulous So ladies and gentlemen boys and girls as you know I don't get into a detailed book review per se but I always uh, mention the key key takeaways the key learnings and uh, my own perspectives about the book this book was gifted by him uh, in 2018 and a uh, couple of times I went through it I glimpsed through this book and if you ask me there are basic four sections four wheels rather of a car and uh, these four wheels are analogous to the first wheel is about personal life second wheel is second wheel is relationship third wheel is work life and the fourth wheel is and the fourth wheel is contribution to society and definitely the steering he is referring to is yes the spiritual dimension the spirituality we all are having our own personal journeys but if any word if any indication if any interaction uh, creates that kind of a spark or enables us or enables us to snap the mind there we are isn't it So this book is an attempt, and I'm sure maybe some of you who are ready and who just need a little push. At times, we just need a little push. It may click to you. It may enable you to snap. A couple of months ago, I read this story about happiness, and uh, one gentleman he goes to a monk, uh, and he says, "I am full of anxiety. I'm very worried. So what do I do?" So the monk gives him a glass of water and also extends. a jar full of salt then he says pick up handful of salt and and put in the glass of water so the confused person takes the salt in his hand handful of salt and puts in the glass of water and then he says you stir it very well and uh, and drink it 
so he he looks very puzzled he says oh my goodness how I, how i can drink this glass of water full of salt then he tastes little bit and then he says yuck you know it's very very saline very very salty i can't take it anymore more than one or two gulp so uh, then uh, these two people the monk and this person uh, who who was suffering through a lot of depression and anxiety and was looking for uh, happiness permanent happiness they go they near a lake a big lake and then uh, the monk who is carrying the jar of salt he says you take handful of salt and put in the lake so the gentleman he picks up the salt and he handful of salt and puts in the lake and then he says okay you take one glass of water so you take glass of water from the lake and it's drinking water basically very very clean water don't you worry he takes glass of water and then he drinks and then the monk says can you feel the salt he says no no way i can't feel the salt so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i hope you got the message the monk says to the person he says that's what life is all about we need to be the big possible lake not the small glass jo ishara hai wo ye hai ki we should become so infinite spiritual dimension is actually immeasurable yeah it is not less it is not more it all depends what we become if you become so all inclusive we become so infinite if we become so immeasurable instead of you know confining ourselves with that mind which is very conditioned mind and we become very judgmental and we uh, look at the things then we are bound to be unhappy you will reach to the stage which is beyond happiness and unhappiness that is called anand that is called bliss so sukh ka opposite dukh hai lekin anand ka koi bhi opposite nahi hai this is the fifth will aside those four wills so those four wills is basically your personal dimension which i already said your relationship your work life and your social contribution now when it comes to personal life the moment when you understand the basic team is within you that's basically your heart body mind and soul are in one direction they are completely aligned then you cannot be divided once you are united unified with yourself then you can strengthen your relationship you can connect very well with the people with all the people all the beings effortlessly your relationships become so joyful and then you will see ki har rishta ek rasta hai actually khud ko janne ka then your work life becomes so cohesive then you don't have stressful work life yeah ups and downs will be there confrontations will be there certain con- conflicts will be there right but the thing is you will quickly understand the importance of no forgive and uh, forget and there is a very very important principle over here i keep on talking about and coincidentally that's you know being grateful uh, gratitude and when it comes to the social contribution uh, gor gopal das is talking about you know uh, selfless uh, service you know a kind of a sacrifice yeah uh, and he says you know uh, that's very very important and one thing i would like to highlight in this book is which personally i loved it and i don't know if it is visible to you this basically you will see an ice cream cone one side and uh, a flame a candle a burning candle on other side so gor gopal das ji is talking about that you know there is a set of people most of us we said we say that life is very short right it's like an ice cream enjoy it before it melts isn't it we heard this many times but there is another analogy there is another dimension and that is basically you know uh, being that burning candle so uh, the candle is is made out of wax and it also has certain shelf life so th- this is also diminishing it so going down and down because it's burning so one can also say that you know life is very short let's try to contribute like a candle before it melts or before before it gets extinguished so this is a choice now the whole idea is striking the balance But eventually everybody when it comes to spiritual journey we all are moving from being an ice cream cone that kind of an approach Uh, that is basically pleasureism or whatever you call it uh, moving towards flame that's basically understanding uh, that there is no difference between you and other and you become that infinite eternal uh, energy whatever you call it maybe liberation illumination enlightenment whatever you call it right that's the journey yeah so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's go explore with gor gopal das uh, life's amazing secrets we'll meet with next book till then enjoy yourself Keep loving yourself keep loving everyone around thank you very much bye bye i love you